one here. This is one of the first um, forums, critical forums, on this topic in higher education, if not the first one, and hopefully not the last one. Um, so, Ryan. Where? Um, so, yeah, even more to piggyback on. I'm glad I waited for after you. <laughs> uh, so, I'm a teacher. Yeah, I don't know if I told you. I'm a teacher. I teach social studies in high school. And I think, so I'm going to talk about that specific, I'm going to focus that specific area. And I always, I sit in these meetings, and that's why I'm bald. This is what I tell my wife. This is why I'm bald. Somebody else said that about their hair. <laughs> so, but um, I hear them talking about math and, and science scores and keeping up and the schools are failing. And it seems so obvious to me that the schools are failing because they're culturally irrelevant. Right? Because we're not dumb. We as in young people, I still consider myself young, but some of y'all might disagree, but fuck that, I'm young. <laughs> it's culturally irrelevant. Right? Nobody cares what X is if I can't feed my family. Right? Nobody cares what, what the cosine of angle A is if I can't figure out how to keep the NPD from raiding my house. Right? And when we see things, uh, when the cops are killing people, uh, Dr. Ball and Rosa Clemente was, were a part of some things that said, one, every 36 hours in this country, a person of color, a young person of color is killed by the police. Right? We just, uh, is the, is it the Bronx, right? Or Brooklyn, Flatbush, where the 16-year-old just got shot, and they're calling it riots, right? And it's funny to me because nobody seems to be able to connect these dots. Nobody has in people involved in setting this education structure of this machine, right? That's really subservient to capitalism. I'm gonna, pump, I'm gonna beat that point home, right? Nobody seems to be able to connect the dots. That, so we standardize our test, which is bullshit in the first place, but we standardize and we make math and science and then reading, and they're actually suggesting that we take fiction out of our reading standards. So you wouldn't read Richard Wright's Native Son in this very small, uh, classes that actually have that as reading, right? They suggest you read the EPA guidelines so that you can take stats and data out of these tests, right? Those are the kind of thinkers that we're creating. Why is that, right? That, that's an important thing to add. So I would say the action piece, I'm long-winded, so to get back to it, the action piece is put pressure on our education system. It needs to be culturally relevant right now, right? And we need to have culturally relevant teachers. It's a damn shame that, like, I think it's like something seven out of 10 teachers are, are white females from from the suburbs or rural areas, and they're in inner city high schools. Not saying that they shouldn't be, right? But I'm saying that there's, there's some things that need to happen before you should be there, right? So that, that's kind of all over the place. I hope some of it connects, but that's my two cents on that. Uh, just a comment, I was watching the news yesterday, and this might be kind of a little effed up, but uh, some hockey players got kicked off the hockey team for doing the Harlem Shake. And if that's their punishment, then so be it. Because I think, I, in the back of my mind, I was like, good. You know, I, I felt that that was a good thing because, you know, it needs to start somewhere. So if white kids in Wisconsin can get a picture like, you know, they're not doing the right thing, and if it comes from administrators, it's, you know, we gotta start somewhere. But we gotta think, you know, yeah, the brother Daniel is right, people. Some vulture in the world is making money off of this. We gotta find out and identify who they are and confront them. And like I said, that, that Bauer cat was in town a couple weeks ago, and I would not hesitate to pull a Karis 1 p.m. Dawn issue on him. You know what I'm saying? And and if if I got thrown out, I got thrown out. But it's just the point of that, like I said before. I'm not going to be, I'm not the, the, the most intelligent mind in this place and the best course of action to go after we leave this room. But like I said, I'm going to encourage all my DJ friends not to play the record and not to add on to the hype. And then, Chris, I'll look into that other record. If it's dope, then, then it's dope. Then we'll, then we'll rock it, brother. But, I think it's and dope. if I can do a set in Harlem one day, then I'll rock it maybe. But... Um, that's all I'm going to say right now. I just want to add that uh, there are a number of corporations that are doing a Harlem Shake in their businesses, in their the, stations. The Miami, Miami Heat, Miami, the, the Timberwolves, Timberwolves, and, and what's up with all that? Right um, and St. Cloud University. There are many universities that are getting their ad. This is free advertisement. So, yeah, just to add on to that. And Jamie, you wanted to. 
Yeah, I was just going to say, I don't, I want to be clear though that with kicking the kids off of the hockey team, that, it, great, but if there's not, an, if there's not an analysis of why that's happening that is geared in a conversation around power and oppression, then it's not enough, right, in the sense that then it's just like, then it, it, then it makes it harder for us to do our work because then it just really seems like, oh, you're just trying to kill the fun. And it's like, no, like, let's talk about why. Let's talk about there needs to be an analysis of the critic. Like, you know, we have to have that behind.